Hey, God bless you guys. I wanted to come on and just uh, share a couple of dreams that the Lord has given me and share the, some of His Word with you guys. Um, <clears throat> it's what the Lord has spoken to me. Um, I'll kind of just have to be, um, you'll just have to kind of read into what I'm speaking on. Um, but yeah, before I do that though, let's go ahead and just pray. Father, I just, uh, I just thank you, Lord. I pray that you are glorified. I pray that you are magnified. I pray you're exalted, Lord, amongst the nations, exalted in my life. You're exalted in this message because you are the one who gives wisdom and knowledge, God. You tear up and you build up, Lord. You tear down and you lift up. So praise God. I just humbly, God, I ask for your mercy, your grace, God, your wisdom to flow forth. And Lord, your love, because if it's not uh, fused with your love, then there's no point in even bringing it forth, Lord. So I thank you, Father. I pray you are glorified and magnified and exalted. And I pray, Father, that anybody that just needs a touch from you, God, would receive that in a more, God. Because you're such a wonderful Father who gives exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that works within us. So I praise you and I thank you for your holy word, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you are with us, God. And if you're with us, who or what can be against us? So I praise you, Lord, and I thank you, God, and I pray you get all the glory in everything I say and do right now, Lord. And just in general, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, in the name of the only begotten Son of God, who is unto the Father, came in the flesh, who was born of a virgin, lived a holy, righteous life, 24-7 submission to the Father, who died on the cross, took our sins, our iniquities, our chastisements, our pains, our sufferings, and nailed them to the cross. And having done so, he triumphant, he rose triumphantly over hell, death, and the grave. And I just thank you, Father, and I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. May you get the glory and the honor in this message. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, so <clears throat> the first, first dream... Um, <clears throat> in it, there was this lady that was trying to get me to eat a package of beef and, and I knew it was tainted. Um, and we're seeing some of this now and, you know, a lot of it even more of stuff being added to certain stuff, uh, you know, uh, but that's why it's important now more than ever to, Pray over your food, over your water, over the air. God is faithful. He is just. And he says in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, he says, Look, I give you authority to trample on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. But if he didn't do that for us right now in this time that we're in, all of us would be consumed by the attacks of the enemy. But praise God, we are what we are, and we are where we are. By his mercy and grace and that he is a shield for us to lift over of our heads and our glory praise god so she was trying to get me to eat this beef but i knew something was wrong with it and i said no i'm not putting that in my body and so basically that that's what the dream was it was like this certain substance that they were trying to get me to consume and i was like no you know and it's not even just that, but I think of it now, like just when I'm saying this, it's like, don't consume things of the enemy. Like of, you can't eat from Satan's table and of God's table. You can't have divided loyalties. You know, you're either going to be one way or the other. You know, you're going to serve one master or being disloyal to the other. There's no middle ground in Christ. He'll spit those people out of his mouth because that's lukewarm. So now is the day of salvation now is the time of redemption. So we need to draw near to him, you know, and not just honor him with our lips but, and then our hearts are far from him. But we need to be a hearer and a doer of the word of God, especially now. So praise God. <clears throat> um, be resolute in what you're going to do in and through the Lord and know that he's going to do it in and through you. So whether that's like uh, times of famine you know, physically, you know, with thirst, God will satisfy your needs and get you to the place you need to be as long as you need to be. Because if God has sent forth for you to do something, there's no demon or devil that can stop it. 
So praise the Lord. We thank God that he will be your strength now and the days ahead. He will be your provider. And remember, little is still something to God. So if you only have a can of, let's just say a can of green beans, that's all you have. God will multiply that and he'll make it so that it's supernaturally nutritious and delicious to you to sustain you in the weary times ahead. And even nothing is still something for the Lord because he is the one that created something from nothing. So we, not, we need to not limit God and his power and his wisdom and his love. Um, yeah, so go boldly before the throne of grace and like your belief and your faith in, in the Lord. Uh you know, because God can do anything. He's not limited in any way, shape, or form. Praise God. So, yeah, that was just kind of like what I remember because, uh, you know, I had a lot of dreams this morning and uh, one of them was, so it was like right after that dream, I had a dream uh, and it was like of a soup can. So, you know, like the, the soup cans and this was like the next size up uh, or I don't know if it's the next size up, but it was like a size of a 28 ounce. So it's a good size uh, soup can, but there was no name on the soup, like where it would say tomato soup. And instead of that, it said, and I'm going to do the, the words backwards, but it said stone yellow. So remember, just switch them around, stone yellow. And this is what it pertained to. And then a finger, like I just saw a finger point to the name and tap it twice it went like that to emphasize the the point of what uh, what I was trying to portray uh, and so we we've seen some stuff that currently just had with the you know the uh, current just things that are going on over there uh, I can't really get into it much but um, so I don't know if that's reference, uh, and that was the size of a 28 ounce cup. So I don't know if that's reference to the 28th of this month that something's going to happen there, or if it's the the two taps was to indicate two days from now, which would that that would also be the 28th, or it was two months from now, or. It was just to emphasize the importance of something that's going to happen there at this place. Uh, I'm not for sure on that, but I know um, definite emphasis of that and a definite, like, you know, attention, you know, to get the, my attention of this specific event. Uh, so, you know, as, as with everything, you know, we take all things to the Lord. We pray about them. Um, and we know... Uh, we just need to pray for the people in around that area too, like, uh, and not just there, but like any place that's gonna be that's reserved for judgment. You know, these judgment areas and different judgments around the world. So we pray that if it's even their last hours, their last minutes and seconds, that they would call upon the name of the Lord, and so shall they be saved. Um, and First Corinthians. Chapter 1, verse 3. I want to say this to you guys. It says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So, grace to you guys and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank my God always on your, on your behalf for the grace of God which has been given to you through Jesus Christ. So, I thank God on your behalf because of the grace that God's given to us through Jesus Christ. By him <clears throat> you are enriched in everything, in all speech and all knowledge. So we're we're enriched in everything, the, the word says. In speech and knowledge. God gives us the words to speak forth, and he also gives us the knowledge of what to speak forth. And we have to that's why we have to weigh everything to scriptures, you know, into the you know, inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Because um, you know, it's either going to come from your flesh, from Satan, or God. You know, that's th one of the three. So we need to know and discern what is truth. You know, because only his truth sets us free. So, yeah, so that's, uh, 
And it says, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you are not lacking in any gift while waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we're not lacking in any gift while we're waiting on Jesus Christ to be revealed, and he will be revealed soon. But remember, it's in his time and not our time and our understanding. And we don't know the time from now until then, but... You know, our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. It is any day we should live as it was the return of Christ. So we'll be ready on the day. So this day will not sneak up on, on us as a thief in the night. But we need to be found doing his will, you know, as a good, faithful steward, you know, of what he's entrusted into us. So that when he comes back, he finds faith in and through us. And it says that he will strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he himself is going to strengthen us to the end so that we will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because if he didn't strengthen us to the end, you know, to preserve us in soul, spirit, and body, as his word says, then none of us would make it. You know, there's no way we'd even make it through the day if he wasn't sustaining us and carrying us through the day, you know. Um, so I want to encourage you guys that if you're struggling with pain, he knows, you know, he knows and he's got you. He's not going to let you go. It says he has strengthened you to the day of Christ Jesus. And not just pain, but like it could be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or all the above. But God knows, he sees, and he's got you. He's got you, beloved. He's got you. And it says, God is faithful. And by him you were called to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. So it says, God is faithful. It doesn't say that we are faithful, because we cannot be faithful apart from his faithfulness in and through us. But it says, by him you were called to the fellowship of his son. So the father himself called us to the fellowship of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. How amazing and beautiful is that, that we have fellowship to the Son because of the Father. So the Father through the Son to the Holy Spirit, because God is one. And that's so awesome. Reference to the dream that I shared with you about the stone that is yellow. <clears throat> Luke chapter 21 verse 25 and i think this is just and the dream itself i don't think it's just solely reference of what has happened in this area or what currently is it could be like uh in conjunction with that but i think it's so it's bigger than that i think something else is coming um but regardless what comes god's still lord do not fear Put your hope and trust in the Lord, and he will never put you to shame. He's never seen the righteous forsaken nor begging bread. You know, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So no matter what comes, like he's still God, he's still Lord, he's still sovereign, he is still King of kings, Lord of lords, and he reigns and rules. And you know what? Like in and through him, in through you, greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. You are mighty in the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter like where you're at in your life or your walk. The Holy Spirit in you makes you mighty. So, Luke chapter 21, verse 25. There will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and on the earth distress of nations. With perplexity, the sea and the waves roar. And so there is there is signs going on right now in the sun and the moon and the stars. We've seen them throughout the years. Uh, but I think we're going to see them even more coming in the days ahead. And, and this is on the earth, distress of nations. So who knows what those distresses are. It could be multiple things that are distressing nations. I don't think it's going to be localized just to one area. Some areas might be hit harder than the others because of the, the judgment and the sin, but it's going to be all over. <clears throat> and the sea and the waves roar, and 
I think that's like tsunami, you know, tsunami stuff type stuff. Um, and it says men fading from fear and expectation of what is coming on the inhabited earth. So all this stuff, when it starts to really, really intensify and ramp up, men are going to faint from the fear and expectation of what is coming on the inhabited earth. So just the, the side of it and then what else is to come. And it says, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawn near. So when we start to see these things and we start to see them increase, look up because your redemption is drawing near. So it's for us, it's a sign of hope. Because we have a living hope. We have a blessed hope. The world does not have the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. So when these things come, you know, we pray for boldness. Pray for courage. Pray to be used by God in these times ahead. Uh, whatever that looks like, whatever comes, be a willing, obedient vessel. And God will use you to the glory of his name. And you will move in great power and signs and wonders through his Holy Spirit. Because that's what the word says. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4. So God also bearing witness with them through signs and wonders and various works of power and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. So God himself validates the calling and the ministry he's in placed and trusted into you. Also, John chapter 14 verse 12. It says, most certainly I tell you, he who believes in me will do the works I do and greater works than these will he do because I'm going to the Father. So we're going to do the works of Christ Jesus. And Jesus did some awesome things. So much so that there's not enough books that could have been written about them that could contain them. I mean, it's just amazing. And he says even greater than that. So we're in a time such as none other that we are that generation to see the return of the Lord, to see the fulfillment of all things, the word of God being fulfilled and that we are those people, those sons and daughters, his ambassadors, his ministers, his harvesters in his harvest field. Praise God. It's an honor and a privilege. So don't be scared of what's going on around you or what's to come. And yes, like we all need to be, um, bold and courageous and the fear is of the enemy so we need to pray against fear pray against these demonic agendas too that are going on or plan to come on ahead and that they be exposed to the light of god they be consumed by the consuming fire of god <clears throat> and that god would use it to his glory and people would be saved set free and delivered so praise god glory to god in the highest all right guys um i'm just going to pray us out and just know that we love you. We're praying for you. Uh, and if you have any prayer needs, uh, just you can post them in the comments and we'll pray for you. God bless you guys. So, Father, I just thank you, God. Thank you for your word. I pray that you would protect this message, God, and that it would go forth to the glory of your worthy, righteous name. And you'd be honored, exalted, and praised, and your name would be lifted up. And you said, if I be lifted up, you will draw all men unto yourself. Praise God. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, your worthy name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You're so good. Oh, Lord. And I just pray, God, that people that need a touch physically, God, that their bodies be cleansed, God. That cancer would shrivel up in the name of Jesus Christ. Back ailments would be healed in Jesus' name. The crooked made straight. Every valley made low. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You're so worthy. And the brokenhearted would be mended, Lord. And peace, God, that surpasses understanding from head to toe in their bodies, their minds, their spirits, and their souls to the glory and honor of you, my Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God who is sent of the Father, came in the flesh. Thank you, Father. As Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And I proclaim that boldly. To the glory of my Father in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, guys, God bless you. God keep you. I pray God shine his face on you now and the days ahead. All right, guys, take care. God bless you.